What is going on, Nab Nation, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon News, where we break down all of the latest developments in the Pokemon card world, all in one bite-sized video. And for today's agenda, we're going to be going through all of the latest cards that have been released for Fusion Arts, which will be the Japanese equivalent of our November set Fusion Strike. We'll be going into trademarks that have been filed, trademarks that have been revealed as new sets. We'll then go into celebrations reveals that I'm sure you guys will be excited about. And finally, we will wrap it up with the big question of the day. Is Jeff Bezos taking over Pokemon? Okay, okay, maybe that's a little bit overzealous, but you guys will understand what I'm getting at later on in the video. And before we jump into today's top stories, hey, if you're feeling generous, go ahead and throw a slap on that like button if you enjoy the Pokemon News series. If you're feeling very generous, maybe go ahead and throw a double slap and include that subscribe button in there as well. And for those of you out there, those 10 or so of you that like to dislike every single one of my videos even before you've even watched them most of the time hey i don't want to forget you guys either make sure you go ahead and hit that dislike button if you haven't done so already because i'm looking to please everyone and with that being said let's go ahead and jump in to today's top stories and starting things off We've got the Fusion Art cards that have recently been revealed. The first one that we're talking about here is Gudra and the whole line of the evolution of Gudra. So here you can see the uh, Gudra card that has been revealed for Fusion Arts. And again, this is the Japanese equivalent set that uh, will later become what is uh, Fusion Strike. That is our November set that we will be getting in uh, just a few short months, which is pretty crazy. We also have the Sligu, which is the other uh, form or the pre-evolution of Gudra. And then we've got Gumi here as well. So nothing too crazy here with those, but you've got the Gudra evolution, which is obviously a Pokemon from the Kalos region and uh, from that XY era. Next up here, we've got the Puyukumuku. Uh, I'm not even going to try to attempt that, uh, which is also going to be uh, in fusion art. So here you go. There is uh, whatever this thing is. I, I tell you what, when it came to uh, Sun and Moon era, there were some very interesting Pokemon in there. And uh, this one is definitely in that category. I have no idea what that Pokemon it really is. I, I I tell you what, a lot of people have been giving Metazoo a hard time about its artwork and its characters. Well, uh, is uh, definitely with, I think, in that particular threshold. So nonetheless, you can expect this particular Pokemon in Fusion Arts. Next up, we've got Bolton V. So we're getting a little bit better here. Bolton V has been revealed for Fusion Arts. And again, one thing that I want to stress here, we don't know for sure if we're going to be getting all of these cards in Fusion Strike. I highly doubt that we'll get all of the cards from Fusion Arts in Fusion Strike, but uh, I'm sure some of these bigger ones you can expect to see in there. So a really cool card like Bolton. Uh, he's been featured in previous Pokemon card sets, and uh, I'm glad to see him returning for uh, Fusion Arts as well. All right, next up, we've got Snubble, Gramble, and Grand Bell of Remem uh, Remembrance uh, that has also been revealed. So we got to love Snubble here, you know, a, a, a true Generation 2 Pokemon that uh, has, has just stuck around for all these years. You, you just can't go wrong with Snubble. Next up, we've got the evolution of Snubble, Granbull, which, you know, he's looking on. He's wondering where his young Snubble has gone to off somewhere in the sunset. Or maybe maybe Snubble has left for, for college and you've got Daddy Granbull looking on and, and wondering what is to come for his baby Snubble. And then last but not least here, we've got the Grand Bell of Remembrance here. And uh, one of the things that's always nice about Poke Beach is that they give the translations here. So for those of you out there that play the Pokemon game competitively, you can start to get an idea of maybe how you're going to start to incorporate a lot of these cards into your deck. All right, so next up, we've got Crabominable V, which has uh, been revealed. So couple of the uh, V cards that are uh, going to be in Fusion Arts. So really cool card here. Really like this one, like the artwork. Um, it reminds me of maybe being on Mount Coronet, you know, Crabominal coming down from the, the tops of Mount Coronet. Um, and uh, this is a guy that I would not want to run across in a blizzard, that's for sure. 
All right, now we're making our way into Generation 1 Pokemon. This is your boy Pokenavs, you know, childhood right here. And what better than Butterfree? You, you gotta love Butterfree. The artwork looks really cool. It's actually very reminiscent to me of the Southern Islands collection, uh, just with those flowers and, uh, you know, just a, a very, a very serene background for Butterfree, which I, I wouldn't expect anything less. And then we've got the pre-evolved forms. We've got Metapod. Which, uh, you know, it's it's Metapod. It's Metapod. He's got his withdraw attack, and that, that's pretty much it, right? Then you got Caterpie, the first Pokemon ever caught by Ash Ketchum. And, uh, you know, he's looking on. He's saying, hey, 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 what are you doing in my territory, man? This, this is my tree. Get, get on out of my business. So... That, uh, that is pretty much going to do it, guys, for all of the cards that have been released over the course of this week for Fusion Arts. Again, you can expect to see probably the majority of these in Fusion Strike later on in November. So just some of the cards to uh, be excited about. And I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with the full set list, especially when we do have that full set list later on this year. All right, so next up on our list, we have a new trademark that has been revealed by Pokemon, and that is Dark Phantasma. So, uh, Poke Beach reports yet another potential TCG trademark has been filed by Pokemon Dark Phantasma. Now, this is another trademark that has been included in previously released ones, Time Gazer and Space Juggler. So, one thing that I want to highlight here is it is looking more and more like we are getting Diamond and Pearl remakes. We've got Diamond and Pearl remakes in the games. We've got the Legends Arceus releasing early next year. We've got all of these trademarks that are being revealed, and we're actually going to get to one that has been confirmed as a new set in Japan. But everything is pointing towards a focus on Diamond and Pearl era. And I think this is just another example here. Time Gazer and Space Juggler has already been revealed. That is... Dialga and Palkia 2AT, uh, Dark Phantasma to me that's a that's a shoe in for uh, something like Darkrai or maybe even Giratina as well. Again, all of these Pokemon, all of these relationships to the Diamond and Pearl era. Um, so you'll probably expect to see this. I would imagine maybe March of next year, you know, if the, the trademark, uh, when we find out about trademarks and when they're actually uh, go into place or when they go into a particular set or, or mechanics, usually about five to six months. So I'd expect to see this right around March of next year, uh, at least in Japan. So Dark Phantasma, we will be sure to keep a close eye on this one and uh, keep you guys updated with where this actually goes. All right, so next up is the confirmation that Star Birth, again, another trademark that was revealed on Poke Beach, is a TCG, TCG set that will be releasing in January. This is Pokemon V Star. So, Pokemon Poke Beach reports we can now confirm the trademark for Star Birth is indeed a set and will release in Japan on January 14th. It will feature Arceus V Star. So, a lot of you out there, you guys always gave me a lot of uh, a lot of heat for putting up things about the Sword and Shield Brilliant Diamond, Sword and Shield uh, Shining Pearl. But hey, guess what? It's looking more and more like this is going to happen. And we've got the Arceus. They're releasing sets right around the same time as Legends Arceus. And uh, it's just, it, it's, it's really pointing towards the fact that I think most of the Sword and Shield era for here on out is really going to take a focus on Diamond and Pearl. And I think all of the sets moving forward after uh, Fusion Strike will probably be that particular era um, and, and focusing on those particular Pokemon. So the set for Star Birth, uh, the release, they will release a Premium Trainer Box V-Star on the same date. Premium Trainer Boxes have always been released at the start of a new regulation box. And here are some of the other products uh, that have been released in the past for pre, uh, Premium Trainer Boxes. Here's the Sword and Shield Premium Trainer Box. Here you have the Single Strike Premium Trainer Box. Uh, rapid Strike Premium Trainer Box, so really cool. Um, like the GX markers, a V-Star marker will also be included within the products releasing soon. This confirms, again, V-Star is indeed a new mechanic as uh, as we had assumed. So it's going to be a new mechanic. It's going to be a, uh, a whole new era of Pokemon that I think will carry us forward throughout the, perhaps even the remainder of the Sword and Shield era that will be focused on 
the the diamond and pearl saga of of pokemon and cards and i'm really excited i really like that era of pokemon and there's so much mythology around it with arceus dialga palkia giratina uh even Darkrai, and I'm, I'm i'm really excited to see them maybe take a focus back on uh this particular era all right so next up We've got cards and uh, products that we're going to go ahead and reveal for Celebrations. This is just a few weeks away, the release of Celebrations for the 25th anniversary of the Pokemon TCG. And uh, we've got a few other cards here. Pokemon just recently released this video, kind of a nostalgic ad that's uh, revealed more cards from Celebrations. And uh, if you guys want to watch this video, you're welcome to. I'm not going to play it here because I don't know about the whole copyright issues here on YouTube. But some of the ones that they did reveal in here you've got the Gardevoir uh, V or, or excuse me Gardevoir EX uh, Delta Species now you can't really see anything there not a very good image at all here we've got the uh, well here we go it's a better image now Gardevoir EX Delta Species very very cool excited to see that Delta Species cards uh, I was I was very excited from the very beginning to see those coming back into the fold professor's research there we go we've got our man the myth the legend professor oak in uh, professor's research it'll get a full art card and uh, the ad that uh, they played here uses the hashtag uh, tcg memories so pokemon's really building up to celebrations really trying to hone in on that nostalgia aspect of all of the previous sets that have released over the years and uh, this is a, a pretty cool ad and definitely takes me back to the old days of the commercials for the the original pokemon tcg all right, next up, we've got Greninja Star from the Celebrations Elite Trainer Box that has been revealed. So here you go, guys. Greninja Star. Uh, this will be in the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box uh, as well as the... Um, regular elite trainer box they recently had the pokemon center elite trainer box up for sale on the pokemon center the other day your boy pokenav tried to jump on there to grab some and i was immediately prompted with a notice saying that the pokemon center website was down it definitely got flooded which we were fully expecting now here is a full lineup of uh, what's included in one the pokemon center versions of uh, or the contents within that particular box so uh, pretty pretty cool Pokemon Stars, just so you guys know, maybe as a little history lesson, those first appeared in 2004's EX Team Rocket Returns and continued until 2007's EX Power Keepers. So there you go. For a, It had a nice little three-year stint there. I, I don't think we really get that anymore. I think new mechanics in, in Pokemon now, <laughs> they only last about three or four months, it seems like, before we're on uh, to the next thing. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for... Uh, the Celebrations new releases, so some pretty cool cards that have been revealed, and with it just being a few weeks away before the official release of Celebrations, um, I'm sure we're going to have a full set list and all of the things that are going to be included in there very, very soon. So the last thing that I want to touch on here, I, you guys heard me talk about at the beginning of today's video, is Jeff Bezos taking over Pokemon. Well, the reason I bring that up is that there is now an Amazon exclusive Celebrations Prime collection box that will only be available on Amazon. Really, really interesting here. So as Poke Beach reports, Pokemon has revealed a new Celebrations Prime collection that will release exclusively on Amazon in the winter. It will combine several items from Pokemon's regular Celebrations product line, along with some unique goodies to create an exclusive product for Amazon. And this is kind of similar to what they did uh, with the GameStop's V Memories collection. Here are some of the things that uh, you can expect in there. Basically everything uh, that you would anticipate in, in some of the other Celebrations products. But a pretty good lineup for oversized cards of all of these really cool uh, new mechanics for new Pokemon. You've got a Pokemon 25th logo collector's chest. Six Celebrations packs. Two regular booster packs. Uh, foil promos of Mimikyu. I mean, they're, they're really packing a lot of stuff into this. Uh, three Pokemon TCG Celebrations four card booster packs two additional booster packs four card binder i mean this there's a lot of stuff in this particular box and really the main conversation that i wanted to have on this is that with a lot of these other tcgs namely magic moving so much of their product over to amazon and selling so much of it on that platform is there a possibility that pokemon could eventually just either move 
directly to Amazon and just sell directly through them, bypassing distributors, bypassing resellers, third-party resellers, LGSs, and just going with Amazon. It would certainly save a lot on overhead costs uh, for them to go through Amazon. Uh, Magic has been doing that. There has been a lot more of an allocation in LGSs and elsewhere within the Magic realm since they started selling on Amazon. And could this very well be a precursor for Pokemon in starting to sell so many more of their products on Amazon and or combining that with exclusive sales on PokemonCenter.com. I've talked about this in the past and uh, although this may be a little bit of an overzealous type of take, you know, just with one, per with one particular product here, it does give the impression that maybe as other TCGs move this way, who knows, maybe Pokemon could be, uh, could be moving in a similar manner. So just something to keep in mind here. Nonetheless, if you guys wanna get this particular box, I think it'll be really cool. Kind of combines a lot of other Celebrations products all into one and uh, could be a great thing. I don't know what the uh, price of it is going to be. That will uh, be to be determined later on. But I think nonetheless, it'll be a fun product to try to get your hands on and uh, just something to kind of get the wheels turning on where you think maybe the Pokemon company is headed. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Pokemon News. Again, I will keep you guys updated on all new developments on everything that we talked about today, uh, as well as anything new that is coming out within the Pokemon card world. I will see you all next time, Nav Nation. My name is PokeNav. I'm here to help you navigate the world of Pokemon one video at a time, and I will see you all in the next video.